Hey guys, this is Viral Rival and I am coming to you with the most awaited game of the season, Fallout 4. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hey, my turn, big guy. Hun. Hmm, just getting ready. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. One hundred and seventy-three point five degrees. Thanks, Cosworth. Of course, sir. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. That's right. That's why we've developed some whiz-bang 
Hmm. More the same. at first, but Codsworth is really good with Sean. Enjoy your coffee, sir. Hey, Codsworth. Don't worry about the dishes. That's my job. Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. The glove's a little big right now, but Sean will grow into it. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. the door and he'll go away. New Coca-Cola. Ice cold. Looks like the milk got delivered. Good morning. vault -Tec calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <coughs> You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time, time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault. One eleven. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the... Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Hey guys, let me take a minute over here to explain the special points in this game as they play an important role in your gameplay. So strength allows you a higher threshold in uh, melee damage and uh, carrying capacity. So the higher your strength, the more weight that you can carry and you, the more damage that you can cause in melee attacks. Perception, keep this high if you are more of a sniper shooter and a sneaky killer. It increases weapon accuracy in VATs. And coming to endurance, you can take more damage and your resiliency against radiation increases with this. Uh, with higher charisma, you can barter well and uh, it is said that you can befriend animals, mutant creatures. Uh, I would rather kill them, but it's up to you. So, uh, intelligence, the more intelligent you are, you can craft better items and you can earn more XP. 
So I would recommend having this around 6 or 7 so that you can level up quickly in the initial stages. When your character has higher agility, they have a better chance at dodging enemy attacks. And uh, you have more action points to use while in VATs. So, uh, and also you can, the reload speed highly increases. Luck, it helps reduce the recharge rate of critical hits. And, uh, and it also increases the chance of finding rare items in the environment. So, basically I would recommend you to go with the generalized loadout which I am doing right now. So uh, I would have my strength around 3 and uh, perception 4, endurance 5, charisma 4, intelligence 6, agility 3 and luck 3. I would also mention some loadouts in the description below so just check them out. It depends on the the type of gameplay your sees. So there you go guys. Uh, if you have any questions just post them in the comment section. I'll get back to you. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Hey, hon. I can't believe it's almost Halloween. Sure, it has been uh, I hate to finish making Sean's costume. He refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. I'm so proud of her. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have... We do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh, my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Get in! We're on the list! Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you! Good luck, ma'am. You two, Thank follow God me! Come us. on! What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can! Now keep moving! Hey. Keep moving! Step on the platform! In the center! Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh, oh my god! 
Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. We did it. We made it. Everything Everyone okay? Everyone please step mm -hmm. off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no, we don't, don't get caught up thinking about that. You're you. safe now. All new residents, this way, please. please proceed in an orderly fashion. Mail. This way. Welcome home. This one's good. Mail. Step over to the table, take a suit. This way, please. You'll need your suit Just before this we can way. take you further. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? Hey there. This way, please. This is our new home. Okay. Oh, you're gonna love it. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't make it? How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. The vault suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Shh. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is, see? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Sure. Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one.
There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Vault do this. Cryopod manual release override. Malfunction in cryopod manual release override. Hello? Anyone? Malfunction in cryopod manual release override.
shut Roaches? What the hell? here. Where is everyone? Is this all that's left?
anyone get out? that's it guys check out the description below for the giveaway contest rules and uh, you can also check out my facebook page for the latest updates on this please like and uh, comment on my video guys and uh, see you in my next video guys until then keep rocking